What's up, Get Better Basketball community? I'm Coach DeMarco, and this is Focus. In today's episode, I'm going to take you through two elevator sets. One I call Decoy, Backdoor, and the other one, Iverson. One is going to lead to an open three-pointer, the other one to an open backdoor cut. An elevator screen is really, really simple. It's when two players get together and set a screen, and another offensive player runs through, and as that player comes through, they pinch in and they close the doors like an elevator. That player could also come around to either side to use that elevator screen. In the first action, really simple, we're going to get a little screen, and one is going to come out, and they're going to catch the basketball, and we're going to go from three to one. One's going to catch the ball here, four is going to end up here, three is going to come in, come all the way across the floor, five is going to end up up here, and three is going to come up up here, and they're the two players who are going to set the elevator screen. So we're going to have our five player and our three player in this area right here. Four, one is going to dribble towards the middle. Now remember, this is all happening simultaneously. Our four player, as three is cutting through the paint, has not made it across the paint yet. Our four is going to set a pin down for two, who's going to come off it. One's going to pass the two. So we're going to end up with our one player here. Now our elevator screen's being set up. We're going to have our two with the basketball, and we're going to have our four player in this area. One, as soon as they pass, is going to come hard and work towards the elevator. Two is going to hard dribble to that side of the floor. All the floor is going to go to that side of the floor. One's going to come through the elevator screen. Two is going to plant. They're going to come back. Four is going to show that they're going to get the basketball. Hard back door cut. They're going to clear out this side for that back door cut. This elevator screen is going to act as a decoy. The first action we're going to see. This is used by the University of Arizona Tommy Lloyd, head basketball coach, former assistant at Gonzaga, diagrammed an absolute gem. Let's check it out. So here is our basic setup. We're going to get that initial screen. One's going to come to the basketball and he's going to catch. This player who is our three is going to come all the way through and he's going to set the elevator screen with this five player on the opposite side of the floor. We're going to get our pin down. We're going to get a pass to our two player. As soon as that pass happens, this player is coming through. And they're going right out off the elevator screen. Then this player is going to settle out to the wing. So here comes our point guard. Hard dribble to this side of the floor is going to really set up the elevator screen. Defense is flowing. This player does a nice job walking up like they're going to get the basketball. Plant, backdoor cut. Great one-handed pass, great cut, and we're going to get an easy two points. Let's take a look at this one more time at full speed. We're going to get this player to cut through the paint. We're going to get our pin down, our pass, high dribble, plant, backdoor cut, two points. All right, so we had a chance to look at the elevator decoy from Tommy Lloyd with that backdoor cut out of Arizona. Now we're going to go to a Jerome Tang set, Kansas State basketball, and we're going to get our Iverson elevator action. And I've been showing and sharing a lot of Iverson sets. I have a lot of these up on YouTube that you can check out. And this is yet another action you can use with your team. And it's really simple. Two is going to make their Iverson cut. Three is going to make their cut through the paint. The three actually is on this side of the floor. So they started here. But typically they would have started over here. And they would have come through the paint. And they would have ended up on the other side of the floor. So we're going to have our two who's made their Iverson cut. And they're actually going to cut through and end up a little bit lower and we have our three player who came through as well. One is going to dribble towards this side of the floor. We're then going to get a staggered screen from four and five for our two player who's going to set up his man and come off of that. As that's happening, one is going to get a dribble hand off to three. So we're now going to have our three player <clears throat> with the basketball dribbling towards the top. Our one player is going to work into the paint and sort of hesitate. And now, as two works up to the top, we're gonna get our four and our five 
to set an elevator screen on the opposite side. We're going to go from three over to two. One's going to come through the elevator screen and we're going to hit that one on the opposite side of the floor. Now remember, they could come through it. They could come around it this way. They could come around it this way. But these two players are going to close those doors on their screen to not let any defender come through. Really simple action, but we're seeing how elevator can be a decoy because it takes really the defense to defend because you got this two players sitting on the screen, a player coming through, you're taking three players and they really have to work on how they're going to defend and get over the top to cover this shot. So we've seen it as a decoy. Now we're going to see how it can work as a great action to get an open three-pointer. Let's check out K-State's elevator Iverson action. So here is Kansas State. There's the Iverson cut over the top. The other player would have cut low, but they were on this side of the floor already. This is an overtime game against Kansas at 67 to 66. We're going to get the dribble handoff over here, right by the point guard, over to that three player. And now our two player who has come off the Iverson is now going to come off this staggered screen. We're going to get a pass from our three over to our two. Notice our one player now has settled into the paint. And here's our two staggered defenders who they set the screen on the Iverson. They set the staggered. And now they're going to set the third screen, which is going to be that elevator screen. Player is going to come right through the middle. The defender goes around it. He's going to plant, and he's going to get an open three. If this defender comes out, he's going to dump inside, and they're going to get an easy two points in the paint. Also, this, this offensive player could pop to the top if that's someone that can shoot and hit that shot for you, and you could get a shot at the top. Let's, let's take a look at this one more time as he knocks down this three-pointer. Full speed, we get the Iverson cut. We get the staggered screen, and now we're going to get the elevator screen for an open three-pointer. I get a lot of questions from coaches out there on how they could use elevator screens with their team and how they can incorporate them into their offense. They like them. They're not sure how. Here's two great examples. You have your decoy with your back door cut, and you have your Iverson action for the open three-pointer. If you like this set, make sure you hit that like button down below. Turn on your notifications and subscribe to Get Better Basketball on YouTube for more great video breakdowns each and every week. As always, get better every day.